Okay, next 15 minute game. In the last one, we, it was about planning. Again, that was the theme that we set in the beginning part of the game. Again, we want to look at planning, targeting the weakest areas at this moment. So I'm going to bring the bishop through based on the what the opponent has done and there seems to be a lot of this preemptive blocking type thing with these pawns which genuinely I believe it loses them tempo because you're not developing any of your major pieces you're, you're pushing a pawn to manage a square that isn't actually being attacked at this moment in time and it's, it's a waste of a resource because you, you're weakening that area you know so giving me access to this area so we may as well focus on the whole of this area now for our attack process so with immediate effect I'm going to see if I can make some space toward again another poor move preempting or looking to support this pawn push down but to me it's a little bit too late to the party so again when you look at like um, the ratings of players you have to take it with a pinch of salt because you can have players that are 1600 this is close it's getting close to 1700 here now and these elementary errors are what genuinely will be affecting their game going forward but they will have got away with this for a longer period of time because 1600 1700 it's not it's not a bad rating online at all it shows you understand the game as far as i know anyway um so it's not a shabby it's not a shabby um rating by any means but like i say don't pay too much attention to people's ratings because it depends who they've played they could have got that high rating because they've been playing a load a load of um, lower rated players or playing maybe somebody that they know and they're just training them or whatever it is and they just keep beating them and keep beating them so those are the sort of experiences that I've had where you see people with high ratings it's not necessarily because they're beating other people who are high rated it's maybe because they're just training with somebody or they're in a mini competition with their a little group of friends and they're the champion in that area and they just keep on winning so the bishop has come through it's not saying i'm winning this game it's just it's giving me a bit of an opportunity it's not actually captured the pawn either so we can focus on the area that we were looking to challenge he doesn't want to give up his queen so he's fearful of giving up the queen that's an interesting situation actually going to capture the pawn obviously the bishop is going to take because he doesn't want to give up his queen at that point we can actually just take here and then we're basically looking to establish some sort of attack he's not actually doing any of that so maybe he's seen that type of situation coming So these obvious attacks um, the opponent seems to be missing but he's giving me more pressure now towards his king when my queen takes so we're challenging this area knight is probably going to come and block so it's not saying that they're not winning you have to have the confidence in your own abilities and what we're striving for our oh, nice little target area just here so if I didn't have confidence and belief in my movements and be able to assess what the opponent is doing and try and make my strength strong and their weaknesses weak they might not be weaknesses so like when we look at evaluations you know you see quite often the opponent has a lot of strength throughout the game and we might be minus all the way through until they make a major mistake 
so it's going for the exchange we're plus two so I don't see why we shouldn't exchange let's just capture here develops his knight our pawn can actually just touch onto the knight now and it's developing our pawns further up the board and we seem to have got here fairly quickly focal point still these squares got to keep that in mind keep that on track willing to change at any moment depending on what the opponent does but it does help if you have a plan so he's now fearful of our bishop attacking this area and we could just go and castle just to try and open up the rook get this bishop involved get the knight involved here it's actually pushed down already Crikey. so we could just take the knight or we could just bring the bishop back take the knight the pawns in the center rook comes and challenges what can defend the pawn nothing so let's just grab here yes they're moving too fast for a 15 minute zero second game I think they're trying to establish not that they know but I think they're trying to establish a, a space for the bishop so this pawn's going to have to move in order for the bishop to come here Fianchetto then his king goes there but we do have these highly advanced pawns which hopefully will be supported by our rook our knight maybe our knight can actually come out and attack both of these pawns so I'm going to bring the knight out as we were talking just seeing that visualization that looks pretty simple and straightforward so definitely is a weak area we've condensed down the bishop so like we say it's going to have to push this pawn here if he wants the bishop to have any play which would be attacking this pawn gives us a chance to either bring the rook here or bishop there he's not doing any of that he's bringing the knight out and where's this knight wanting to go come here to attack down here do we need to lose any sleep over that at all I'm going to capture this center pawn so then at least we don't that, that's the pass well semi pass pawn and the king is now coming to block in the early part of the game that king has no place there we need to punish that king somehow do need to support this pawn not thinking it's going to be with the bishop though I think I'm going to bring the rook out and the knight's got a nice position as well it's got a nice little outposty type thing attacking the rook but then the rook can come down and take the pawn take the rook knight takes then our poor pawn in the center is all gone but mr bishop here can come and protect and then the knight can get up here attacking the pawn and also attacking the rook rook will have to come back okay that seems a workable situation how many is that it's only two isn't it one two yeah nice and steady keep it simple so activating all the pieces all of my pieces now so at least they're all doing something again super speed I can just drop the bishop back don't need to do anything there really could attack his um, rook here quite nicely with my knight and just get get the rook off the board smaller piece attacking the higher piece that's a fair exchange I think okay we will grab not going to mess about there king takes so we win the tempo his knight is still on this pawn uh, remove the bishop here maybe because stopping his knight from going there I might have moved too fast then actually but we'll see 
so the king is getting all activated got like eight minutes they've got 11 minutes i don't understand why they're going so fast okay let's see his knight still has activity coming here so i don't really want to push this because it's blocking my paw bishop isn't it for good there he just drops his pawn onto our bishop Am I worrying about stuff I don't need to worry about? That's the type of stuff that this player did in the early part of the game. You know, I'm trying to do a preemptive move blocking when really there's no major threat that it can cause me. Okay, so we're up the exchange and we do have, like we say, we do have this which basically could go through to there but I've got the pawn blocking and his pawn's going to drop down so if we did this and he's following the same sort of mindset although he's going very quickly and he's not putting that much thought into it but I'm afraid I'm going here Speed really does not impress. I don't know how many times I have to keep saying this, but it does not impress in the slightest. We've got two rooks, we can make them work for us. Obviously the pawn is going to be taken, but if the pawn takes, what happens? Oh dear, let me see. Let's take this bishop for free. We do have the rook you see so we can actually defend quite nicely on there position try not to be scared of speed that is the key thing really look at your position seven minutes they've got ten minutes so this is going this should be quite painful for them now so it's learning how to make it really hard for them by taking pieces off the ball strategically so that they capitulate and they realize that they don't have any chance that's the idea so removing pieces from the ball strategically just capturing a piece at a time Having a look now, just because the opponent's moving fast does not mean you move fast. It's so hard to avoid in any game of chess. It's so hard to avoid when you've got all the time in the world and maybe your opponent's time is running down. And you're saying to yourself, no, I'm, I'm going to win. I'm going to beat them because I want them to be under pressure on time. But then you make a mistake. I'm actually just going to bring my bishop here back into the game a bit. So I'm utilizing my time as best possible, just nice and steady away. Just going to put a check on, simple stuff. Don't need to do anything crazy. The opponent's still moving fast, yep. But he can lull you into a false sense of security. This knight doesn't have any protection on it, we don't need to rush. What can we take off the board? We could go for this uh, pawn. Let's go for a simple pawn. Yeah. So they know that they have the idea. They know what to do. I'm going to attack the knight now. You know, in terms of defending, etc. But position play really just has let them down. That is the difference between my play and what you're seeing what we're playing against so the rook can actually just go here and take this pawn off the board so it's going to be a slow incremental removal of pieces until they realize that they've had enough I'm not going to chase it down to get any sort of fork situation with the knight not that there would be again simply just attacking the knight here and they've resigned 